Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with Aiba Communications, and today I wanted to give you a quick tip with regards to Wi-Fi and antennas. Now, there are a lot of different solutions for Wi-Fi out there, whether it be a Google Hub, which is what I'm using right now uh, for the wireless portion of this, or whether it be um, a Netgear wireless router or anything like that, or even this tiny little 2.4 gig router. The key thing is wireless requires antennas. Uh, if you're a ham radio operator, you know that it, the antenna is really everything. You can have all the power in the world, but if you have a bad antenna, it's not going to work. <laughs> you can have a very small radio, but if you have a good antenna, you make the most of the signal. The antenna is what converts electrical energy into RF energy, and the antenna is that conversion between on a wire and through the air and that is really the most important thing that you can find now i have recommended this little router in other videos and the key reason is that it has external antennas uh, you can unscrew these little things you've seen them on various uh, wi-fi routers and you have a little reverse sma connector in here with a series of adapters you can take this tiny little antenna which is really just a little stretch of wire and not going to grab a whole lot of signal and you can replace it with this antenna um, it's almost like um, crocodile dundee now that's an antenna this is a has an n connector on the bottom and you can convert from sma to n very easily and this has 10 db of gain 9.7 and this will receive and put out a lot more signal along a radial, like a donut, around this antenna. It doesn't radiate up. You don't point it where you want it to go. It radiates outward, and just like this antenna. But because there's so much more metal in this antenna, it does a much better job radiating outward. It, it has multiple stages of the same wavelength so that you compound the strength of your signal in a certain area. So getting from these two cable, these two converters here, these two jacks, this is the reverse SMA, this is the N connector. Um, both of these are weather sealed. The N is better because it is a multiple connection to get to the lead in the center. Uh, the SMA is just a very small but tightly uh, wound and the end is definitely built for outdoor weather connections in the rain and everything. These are actually outdoor antennas that uh, you can use. The advantage to using a big antenna is that your signal will be louder than competing signals because you can you can only turn down the loudness or the strength of your transmitter. These are limited by law to about one half of one watt. But one half of one watt in a, to a teeny little piece of metal, one half of one watt into a high gain antenna makes a big difference. You're not changing the output power of the radio. You can turn it down in software, but you can't go legally, you can't go louder than that transmitting power. But you can focus the energy more directly in a horizontal plane, which is what this does. So if all of your devices are along one horizontal area, this will do a great job maximizing your signal. Whereas this, it kind of radiates kind of more in all directions. This is really focused along a horizontal plane. It, it takes this big donut and narrows it down into this more narrow plane, increasing what we call the gain. You can also get directional antennas, which will, like a parabolic dish, that will focus all the energy that would normally radiate in all directions, take all the energy that would normally go that way and focus it all in one direction. They can have upwards of 20 dB of gain, which is a huge amount. If you find yourself situated towards one end of an event field or something like that, and you all your devices that you need to talk to are in that direction, a flat patch antenna or a directional antenna like I happen to have one here. Uh, it, like this can take your, well, this is a 2.4 gig. 
Uh, but you can find versions of this that are 2.4 and 5. And what they do is they send all of your signal in a certain direction. And that makes a big difference because if there's nothing behind you, there's no reason to send that signal from a vertical behind you. You're throwing half of your signal away. Half of the power of your radiated signal is going in a direction that nothing is going to use. Whereas if you can send it all in one direction, now this is a very directional antenna. It's really focusing the beam with all these director elements. You could in essence take it off here and just have these elements here and it would probably do very well to take all of your signal and more concentrated in a certain direction in front of you. With that, my name is Anthony Barocas with IEBA Communications with a quick look at what antennas can do with regards to improving your Wi-Fi capability.